I was deeply concerned. The kind of language that has been used is obviously unacceptable. It has always been and will always be. You know, we rely on each other. We would keep our international commitments. Obviously, as I mentioned yesterday, I was deeply concerned to see the developments. And I think our foreign ministry and the foreign minister has very clearly stated that though we have freedom of expression, that um, the kind of language that has been used is obviously unacceptable. And personally, I also believe that um, this element of racism and derogatory comments is something I strongly condemn. Um, unfortunately, this has already happened. And I think given the history of the Modi's India relationship, though we have strong bonds of friendship, we have also had um, various times where we have not agreed on some issues and um, things have not gone very well. Um, obviously, when problems arise, we uh, as responsible citizens of our countries and also um, especially politicians and including the media can play a role to resolve such situations and to de-escalate uh, de any tensions that, are, that have arisen. So I think... Um, Definitely, uh, we have a responsibility for that because of the historic and strong ties of friendship that have existed. And unfortunately, with the political rhetoric, there have been instances of um, disagreements that have gone and been expressed in, um, in ways that are not acceptable in uh, modern democratic uh, societies. Uh, okay, ma'am, as we speak, the Maldivian president has landed in China for his state visit. He has earlier visited Turkey, uh, defying his earlier predecessors who had visited India as their first foreign destination after taking over the charge. What do you make out of such visits? Um, of course, it has been a tradition in the Maldives, and I have myself traveled with three presidents uh, to India on their state visits and including on their first visits abroad. Uh, this, uh, our current president, our president, uh, Dr. Moise, has uh, made um, decisions to first visit Turkey and now uh, to visit China as well. And I think these are important visits. China, as you know, is a close development partner of Maldives and has assisted particularly in a lot of infrastructure developments. And I think um, many times there has been unfair allegations against them in terms of the debt trap, which I think politicians have used. I, again, do not agree with that. I think the terms of the loans have been very favorable to Maldives. And as you know, the completion of one of our most important landmark projects, the Sina Male Bridge, or the bridge collect, co connecting Male and Hulu Male. Hulu Male, as I mentioned earlier, is a development of President Mamun Abdul Qayyum during his time, um, he brought in or reclaimed uh, with the support of many and of course the work of Maldivian people, a whole island where people have now settled and it was to ease the burden on our capital, Mali. So yes, the trips um, obviously show that we have many friends across the world and that we wish to uh, strengthen those bonds as well does not undermine in any way our relationship to India and the fact that this is um, the strongest power in our neighborhood and that we value this strong friendship. But I think different countries have supported and assisted us in different ways and that does not make us exclusive friends with any particular country. So I commend the president on his decisions and I wish him good luck in his discussions in China and the Maldivian people look forward to further um, support for us, uh, particularly in the areas where our people expect to see progress. Has always been and will always be. You know, we rely on each other and everything else as well. And as two countries who have, like India has been our 911 call. Uh, whenever we need it, we give a call and you'll come to our rescue. So that kind of friend, you know, when you see such disparaging remarks about friends like this, it is sad for everyone concerned. Right. 
Uh, Ma'am, as we speak, the Moldavian president is in China for his state visit. Uh, you know, defying his earlier predecessors who had visited India first as their foreign destination. What do you make out of such things, you know, when the relationship between India and Malay are already not as far good as it was earlier? I think, you know, it is a short-sightedness on the uh, part of uh, the present administration to see things like that. You know, it's uh, we are a small country who are friends with all. But we cannot deny that we share borders with India, we share many, uh, similar security concerns. Uh, uh, India has always helped us. They have been helping us even in the defense sector with capacity building, providing us with equipment, trying to make us more self-sufficient. Uh, we are like-minded in our uh, quest for democracy, you know, human rights, respect for human rights and things like this. So uh, it, it's a uh, very short-sightedness on uh, the part of um, the present government uh, to really uh, think, you know, that uh, we can uh, really try to, like, not keep the age-old relationship that we have always had with India. Right. Uh, Ma'am, since you have been the defense minister, if you can explain, you know, the defense cooperation that the two countries share, because defense and security has been, you know, one of the bedrock of the cooperation between India and Maldives. And also, since we know that uh, President Moizu has been talking about, you know, the, uh, the uh, asking about the withdrawal of Indian troops, Indian military from uh, the island. So how do you see that as well? I mean, we have never had troops in the traditional sense in the Maldives. As part of the defense cooperation, India has offered us technical support, you know, to uh, purely on a humanitarian basis to bring our uh, ill people from the islands to uh, Mali. You know, the uh, equipment that were gi uh, given in uh, to Maldives have always been there to help us, you know, to assist us in the humanitarian evacuation of our people. And uh, the helicopters that were there, the Donia that's there, they are completely under the command and control of MNDF in the sense we tell them, the MNDF tells them when to fly, and how to fly and what to do about it. So it's never been a question of like uh, Indian troops being here or anything like that. They have been here to help us on our government's request. Several governments, you know, successive governments have requested that they come and help us. Then the Donia has been helping us as well with medical evacuations as well as, you, you know, a search and rescue. You know, we have been able to uh, apprehend many drug uh, bus uh, uh, with the help of the Indian Doni. So, uh, it has been key, helping us keep our citizens safe. And it's sad that we do not see it that way. Right. Uh, Ma'am, just last question. Do you think this, uh, the controversy, the diplomatic row between the two countries will have an impact on the relationship as we move forward from your? I, I would think, you know, as close friends, as neighbors, as uh, uh, part of the global community, and uh, we would keep our international commitments, and we will keep our uh, Maldives government would keep our traditional foreign policy of being friends with everyone. You know, it's and of course uh, we've always had an India first policy, and I hope they continue it. That they recognize that you're the closest neighbor, that you will be the people who have always come and will come in the future also when the need arises. From breaking news, 
detailed analysis, in-depth interviews and explainers. Follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.